what in the heck are we putting in the trailer? Welcome to the Hippie Geeks and our schoolie conversion, Soul the Sun Chaser. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to catch all our new content. Just over two years ago, we excitedly went to look at what would become our schoolie. We looked her over, took her for a test drive, and things looked great. A two hour drive home, and she made it with one issue, which was tracked to a leaky oil cap. We had two different shops look her over and give her an almost completely clean bill of health. Confident that we had done everything possible to make sure that we had a roadworthy adventure rig, we did a quick conversion, adding in bunks for the kids, a table, and a bed for us. We packed our things and headed for the coast, only to have the transmission overheat on us as we left town. We managed to limp her home, discovering that we had lost reverse when we tried to back her into the driveway, so we pulled her in head first, and there she has sat for the last two years. We had no expectation to make any real forward progress on getting her mobile again this year. We are working on getting her gutted because it feels good to make some progress towards our dream. We know that we do not want to just replace or rebuild the Allison AT545 that is in there. They are prone to overheating due to the design and we do not like that it doesn't lock up. We have been looking at an Allison MT643. They are built better, have a higher weight capacity, and lock up in third and fourth gear. Switching, however, means spending a pile of dollars. Not only would we need the transmission itself, we would need to redo the connection between the engine and transmission as the 545 and 643 are not drop-in replacements for each other. So we wrote it off until two weeks ago when one day when I was checking Craigslist and found a listing for an Allison MT643. The listing was 27 days old and a ways away from Eugene, but I figured I would reach out. Not only did they still have the Allison MT643 transmission, they had the torque converter, flywheel, and most importantly the bell housing that connected to a Cummins 5.9 engine, the one we have in our bus that it needed to match up to. It was a little over two hours south of us, which is well within reach, but we did not have the cash. However, my day job has enough work that I was able to start working 15 hour days, and that's exactly what I did. I would go into work at 8am, come home for dinner at 7pm, then head back to work from 9pm until 1am. That wouldn't quite get us there, but my mom was able to loan us the rest, so last weekend we headed south down the I-5 to the small town of Wolf Creek, and a small business by the unassuming name of Wolf Creek Motors. They sell not only school buses and the occasional parts like our transmission, they also work on them with some really interesting projects in progress while we were there. Walking along the front of their lot, you can see some of the buses they have for sale right now along with some of their own personal buses and the ones they are working on. It is an unassuming little place and Kurt the owner is a down to earth guy. We talked about what brought us to the place we are, what we were looking to do and what he thought about our plans. While he looked for the tractor keys to load up the transmission, I looked around and this particular project caught my eye. This is one of their personal projects, converting a bus that is the same size as ours to a sweet four-wheel drive monster. They had already swapped out the rear axle, and the front axle they were going to be using was sitting there waiting to be put in. I thought that it was an amazing idea, and what they had done already looked great. I would love to see that one finished up someday, and how it does off-road. Kurt was not able to find the tractor keys, but we decided to just back the trailer into the shop and load the transmission up with his engine hoist. It didn't take us too long to get it up and in there, along with the bell housing, flywheel, and torque converter. We chatted with them for a bit longer, then headed home with our new, used transmission. The two hours home flew by, and in no time we were unloading it into the garage where it is going to sit for a little while. We have it, and that is the important part. Next up are some decisions that will have to be made. Do we have it rebuilt before putting it in? We would be getting it rebuilt before going full time, but it was a working pole that we could possibly drop in now and get the bus moving for the summer. Do we try to put it in ourselves or pay someone that knows what they're doing to get it done right? First thing to do is get some quotes so we know the costs of each path and then make a decision from there. For now though, we have the transmission we wanted with the bell housing we needed to make it work and that feels like a win. If this is your first time here visiting Soul the Sun Chaser, it would be wonderful to have you subscribe. This channel is all about our schoolie journey, the good, the bad, and everything in between. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out our Patreon page or merch store to support the channel directly.
Until next time, keep seeking adventure, chasing the sun.